This week on Clown College. What happened the first time you busted a nut? <laughs> this is I've been wondering wow. this all time. <laughs> I'm glad someone asked. Wow. Well, since it's on the table, I, I, the first day I did this, I got scared because I didn't know what was happening. Because I was a kid, I didn't know shit, right? So Were I, you confused that your cum wasn't black? <laughs> no, dude, dude, this, this was the time that I This is the Clown College Podcast. We're just a couple open micers trying to make our way through the scene. Where we interview comedians throughout different stages of their comedy career, no matter if they're open micers, headliners, or traveling comedians. I'm here too, Jamie 2.0. I just talk a lot more. Damn it, Brandon. Go sit in the corner. (laughs) They do that with the moon. Did you know that? If If you point your iPhone at the moon... Uh, it'll just and, and like zoom in on the moon like you're trying to take a picture of the moon. It'll just like overlay an uh, image of a good moon. For real? Huh. Yeah. On iPhone? Yeah. I know. What? Maybe on Android too. Oh, try yeah. that tonight. Uh-huh. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it's, it's a, weird. It's a full moon tonight too. Oh, then never mind. Is I, it? Why would you say never mind is better? Oh, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, why would you know that, Dom? Are you secretly a werewolf, dude? I've never Shit. seen him out. Yeah, I have the hair of one. Uh, so we got somebody. Uh, special here and alex we wanted to have you on hell yeah to say thank you for everything you do for if you guys don't know at home he's the reason we're on audio he comes and uh does all of our video for us uh he we just uh shot some promos he was there he's always there and most of all we're saying thank you on behalf of every comedian in huntsville hell Aww. yeah dude he's the best thank you. the best man hell yeah we thank couldn't you. do it without you thank i appreciate you. it hell yeah no problem integral yeah, uh, I'm just I'm just waiting for one of y'all to hit so I can ride your coattails. <laughs> just waiting, waiting for that day. <laughs> it's gonna be you. Oh, You're gonna yeah. take a Bo and Yang spot on uh, SNL. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I had to write some. Please take a spot. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I would gladly. I would gladly. <laughs> uh, I'd go gay. <laughs> if, if, if that's what it took. If that's what it took. Then I'd you it. check three boxes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hell yeah. So uh, we just shot some promos. Uh, hold on, hold on. How you doing today, Brandon? Man, I'm doing good. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. Yeah, you doing good? Hey, I'm in a good mood. What yeah, happened? it's 420. It's, Brandon it's, is not here mentally. Yeah, it's 420. Oh, yeah. It's a good yeah, it's day. I had a good week. I had to kick in my mom's door, but I mean, it was cool. Why would you have to kick in her door? Okay, so oh, you see, let me tell you what yet. happened. <laughs> so I don't know how the hell this happened, but somebody accidentally locked that door. And left the key in that door, right? And there's no other way to get in because it's an advanced one. I tried every card thing, all that. So my uncle every was James like, Bond trick. <laughs> my uncle looked at me. He's like, okay, Brandon, fuck it. What you're going to have to do is get on that lock and just kick in the door like that with the lock. So I just had to do that. And then I accidentally broke the door. And now I got to buy a new doorknob and shit. <laughs> uh, hold on. What kind? Like a door to the house? The no, it door? was her room. It was her room. So, so you locked her door from the inside? Yes, I don't know who did. Somebody did. I'm not saying I don't know. I don't mm. know how it happened. Wait, but, but you said that the key was still in the door. Yeah. No, it was still in the room. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't know though. Why is? Oh, y'all got one of those locks for a bedroom? Yeah, because she's like deadbolt. Yeah, she's got a crazy one. Like, we, is we, that a we, black we, thing? No, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. no, no. Like, dude, no she's very, listen, we got cameras in every room, man. We got cameras oh, so outside like all over the house. That's a big that's, that's also not a black <laughs> <Okay>. thing. <laughs> I, just, I just want to be clear. But yeah, she just want to keep people out of room. So she said she got the advanced ones. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't advanced for my foot, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there he is. She watching right now, wondering what happened. I kicked it down. <laughs> <laughs> and you got it on camera, too. She really does. <laughs> I'm going to ask for that recording. I was yeah, going to say, ask if we can get it. I'm going to ask for that recording. You just recording. see from like the inside of the room, the door flies open, and Brandon's like, oh, shit. Yeah, I just look so cool to her. I'm like, yep, that happened. Hell yeah. Brandon's always breaking down barriers. Hell yeah, dude. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> he told me that at uh, at Wednesday, the open mic Wednesday at Fat Sammy's that we co-host together. Hell yeah, that's where he told me. So I got a little advanced preview of a Brandon story. Just want to just want to oh. shit on y'all. Oh, oh, did you did you do it on stage uh, when you asked him? Oh shit! No, he just told me that like, oh. offhand. That was again one of those stories <laughs> he just told me like... as a normal thing, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" Did yeah. you do your thing though this week? Uh, where you just asked? No, questions? I didn't ask him questions. We just did sets. This okay, week. okay. But okay. um, we did the words of wisdom at the end. You said, mm-hmm. "What'd you say this week?" Okay, I said this. I looked down at my foot and realized that my sock was missing. Don't do that with your cars, y'all. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> Find your fucking cars. 
What? But what? What's the sign? Basically, what I was saying was, <laughs> as a message, don't lose your car. Find your car, and don't lose it. How I lost my sock. I got it. Night. <laughs> Car's a little bit harder to lose. I know, I know, but I'm telling them don't be lost. Find your way. Find your way. Yeah. Like God. Because like that's something I am. No, I'm just kidding. No, God. Oh, yeah. 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 Kanye. Yeah. Yeah. Kanye. He went Kanye. Yeah. Right there. He's, in, Kanye. he's in the mode. You just proclaimed his name. Kanye. Y'all yeah. don't believe in Jesus. Huh? Right. You don't? What? No, I'm saying y'all, your people. Uh, <laughs> all right, y'all look like two different now. depictions yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I look more like your guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Buddha, yeah, right, yeah, for sure. And I look, more, I, I look, I have a Jesus. Yeah, you, I can me. see it. I need to grow a little more down here. I keep looking there as if there's a camera, but um, <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Traditionally, we don't. Yeah, that was stomped out when communism took hold. Mm-hmm. Rightfully so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. red yeah. books, dude. Hell yeah, <laughs> I read them. <laughs> if I could read, <laughs> I look like Slim Jesus, dude. I bring more of that vibe. No shit. <laughs> well, like Slim Jim Macho Man Randy Savage. Remember that? Oh, the commercial. Yeah, yeah, you remember when he had that? He'd be snapping it and shit. Yeah. Snap it to the Slim Jim. Ooh yeah. Like, snap it to the Slim I don't. Jim. I don't think meat should snap. I'm a, I just don't think it should snap. No. I like Slim Jim. Good sausage has oh, a snap man. to it. Oh, hell yeah. But, well, because like the intestinal yeah. casing. But I wouldn't okay. consider Slim Jim a quality sausage. It's, it's a good. It's a good meat stick. It's a good meat stick. One of the best. Uh, yeah, I like the Tabasco Slim Jim the best. Oh, damn. Mm. Yeah. Well, Whenever I, I don't think I've had that one. Riddle me this. Slim Jim, and we'll probably do a recap. We'll talk about actual shit here. But like uh, so Slim Jim <laughs> has two sizes. They have the mega size, yep. right? Uh, and they have the yeah, thin ones. The savage. Uh-huh. Those are completely different experiences. Completely di- yep. Okay. 100%. Okay. okay. I'm yeah. I'm with you. Oh, damn. Yes. Okay. See, yeah. The thin ones are way better. Mm-hmm. Way snappier. Okay. Yes. See, I like the thin ones, but I like if I'm getting a thick one, I want like a almost like a summer sausage. Uh, yeah. Right. Like a thick. Like yeah. A more. I don't want it to be as because. So- yeah, because yeah. it's a soft meat, but if it's thin, it's a snap. It's a snap. Yeah. 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 It's too mm-hmm. much Slim Jim in the fat ones. Yeah. Too much yes. in the Jimmy Jam. You got a microdose. Now, Slim if they Jam. made like a three foot long, thin Slim Jim, yeah. <laughs> it's called shit. a Slim Jim, dude. <laughs> it's not a thick Jim, right? <laughs> we call yeah. uh, if they started selling th- uh, Slim Jameses, I'd buy those. <laughs> the long ones. Like LeBron James's fucking knee or something. Leg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, did y'all see this nigga who uh, burnt himself up? Outside of a Trump. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I heard I about that. that. Yeah, yeah. NPR. Yeah. I didn't see hey, it. Look, I saw no. it. I will say, they didn't give nearly as much of a fuck as the Israeli. <laughs> oh, yeah, today, too. NPR literally was like, oh, died? yeah, and a guy today? lit himself. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he died today. Yeah, yeah. man. Well, I mean, yeah, you light yourself on fucking fire. You're probably going to. You shouldn't care about anything that much. Everybody's I here. mean, in the world, you shouldn't care about anything that much to set your goddamn cell phone fire. I mean, especially not. I mean, this isn't even the uh, this is a trial. <laughs> like yeah. he's in, no, like, right? what the fuck? and he's not yeah. going down. It's not, I mean, it's not. I don't, gonna, wanna, I don't yeah. necessarily want to shit on this person too much, but like it's pretty. Unless there's like some pretty yeah, big revelations. This is some silly I silliness. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> You're retarded. You stupid. No. All okay. right. <laughs> if you light yourself on goddamn fire, let's just all Actually, say he it. wasn't fire retardant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Hold up. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Got him, dude. Everybody's blazing up on 420, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't. That's one I don't get because I feel like they're. You're making a statement, obviously, because burning yourself is very painful. Oh yeah. But I feel like you could add some more showmanship without burning yourself. So today. no, totally. So that's something I've been talking with my friend about because we have sort of opposite opinions. He's like very, he was very affected by the the embassy guy, and I was like, mm-hmm. when I think about it, and obviously you can't really put yourself in that shoes because that's, I mean, almost impossible. But I'm like, if I like was that like there, I don't know. I would like. Yeah, like you said, make a show of it. Like I'd do, I'd walk across the country, or like I'd like yeah. do what? something. Yeah, I don't know. Like, but maybe that's just me. You know, we're stand ups, so we're like. I forgot we're about beneficial. the official. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like, I forgot I know. about the guy uh, that burnt himself in front of the embassy mm-hmm. until this guy just burnt himself mm-hmm. up. Yeah. So people are going to forget about mm-hmm. you. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. you're going to do all this and be like, oh, people are going to remember me forever. No, they won't. They just won't. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, especially yeah, in today's day and age, nobody's going to give a fuck in three weeks. Yeah, I uh, seen somebody do something crazy last night. I don't remember them. 
Oh, what are you doing? Oh, man. So, uh, Wait, did you see someone burn themselves alive? <laughs> oh, my God. No. It's comparable. And it's how can comparable. you even do no, that with Twitter. gas prices these <laughs> days? <laughs> yeah, that was so, a lot of money. He won't have to worry money. about it anymore. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah, he wasn't paying that bill. He wasn't paying that bill. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably fucked that way to lead into our game. Yeah. 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 Uh, Sorry, Brent. Nah. All right, man. Uh, we just, nah, Brent would love it. Brent he'll love be fine. He'll be fine. Right. Just roasted. Yeah. <laughs> Got him, Brandon. Uh, Brandon's on fire. Uh, <laughs> Segway. He didn't even, I didn't even realize yeah. I did it. Damn. Damn. <laughs> damn. damn. God damn. Oh, work. This is a good one. I like it's it. Good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, what happened? What happened uh, last night? Okay, so uh, you know this is funny because nobody believed me. We were at Jimmy John's, right? Uh-huh. And this dude walked up behind me talking to like the worker who was there all night by himself. I shout out to you. You are amazing, man. Mm-hmm. Keep doing what you're doing. And then eventually get better because you deserve better. You're mm-hmm. amazing, man. But anyways, this dude pulled up with some branches on his head and shit and then had an egg. And he was like, hey, man, anybody want this egg? And the dude was like, no, not today, buddy. And then he left. And I told, I told like Alex and Brandon, they're like, nah, man, Brandon, nobody here telling lies. Right. He said, I'm lying. <laughs> was, the, everything else he said, we, we've believed that was uh, over the line. Yeah, like, like, no, yeah, no gaslighting. No way someone fucking did We're that. We're back. Mm-hmm. And then, and then while I'm saying this, the dude runs back in with the egg, like, hey, man, anybody want this egg? And they're like, oh, shit, Brandon's right. It was like, yeah. So either Brand, yeah, I don't know. Brandon could be God. Like he could be God. He could have willed could that. Have to happen. Well, that guy there. was wearing the crown of thorns. So. <laughs> yeah, and he just saw branches. Too. You saw. You remember earlier? You saw my story. You were like, "What the hell is that?" That was like one of the stories I told about with the rustling. So you remember? I don't know. What you remember when about. I told you? You said who? Who? Was oh yeah, posting? I was talking about the guy on your on uh, Brandon's Instagram story. Yeah, oh, okay. They were, we're at a WWE, WWE event wearing masks. I was like, who the fuck is that, Brandon? That's the dude. That's the dude from all his stories. Yeah. That's the guy that threw that rocks him. at him. Nuh-uh. He posted the feet that pictures earlier. Pictures guy that you'll hear about later this episode. But he's in a yeah. mask in My this bro. picture. He's not. Brandon oh, okay. is. Because <laughs> yeah, this was like during the COVID time. This is when we had them two edibles <laughs> and got lost in the city. And like was freaking out, like we were at that same Jimmy John's, just pissing him off, probably <laughs> because, he, because uh, he kept on saying, "He was like, what do you want?" He was like, "Just surprise me, man!" I, oh, that's uh, the worst. I was like, "Dude, just stop, man!" And then we got lost. And, Especially at Jimmy John's, because it's not like you tell them what you want as you know. I know. And then fast forward uh, to the middle of the match, he's freaking out, like, "Oh my gosh, they after me!" I'm like, "Dude, nobody's after you." He's like, "Brock Lesnar's after me. He gonna come out." So he thought Brock Lesnar, that's not even in town, was gonna come out. And then rip him in the ring and whoop his ass. And then he thought the FBI was after him for no reason. That must have been some good shit. I was going to say, were these K2 edibles? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Been there. <laughs> Brandon, I'm sorry. Those weren't edibles. <laughs> <laughs> that was something else. Y'all were Crazy completely dude. sober. <laughs> <laughs> we underestimated it because of the eight half. I was like, this is not nothing. Give me the whole. No, not didn't mistake wait number out. one. Mm-hmm. Mistake, classic yep. mistake. Yep, then we were lost. I'm glad we made it back. <laughs> Hell yes. Otherwise I don't know what happened here. after that. Were y'all walking? Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you God. walking, so you just see me walk. No, I wasn't no driver. <laughs> I didn't have a car. And this was Huntsville, right? Yeah, yeah. I didn't have a car. And My for those of you who don't know, Huntsville downtown is about five blocks yeah. square. Yeah, so I'm just so going they through got it lost constantly. In like a Walmart super center. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> It was bad. Hell yeah, uh, we did a we did a roast battle. Ooh. Hell yeah, we'll, that was we'll talk fun. about that later. Uh, uh, great, Brent Reed and Matt Van Ban, Wart. Mm-hmm. Van Wart. I always get his last name wrong. Van Wart. He's funny. They're, they're both funny as Hell shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were awesome. And man. then today we just shot some ads for live show May, May 17th. 17th. Ooh. And shenanigans. 8 p.m. Killer clowns. Get your it, it's uh go to the shenanigans website and get the tickets now. We're trying to sell this bad boy out. Please. Right. It's, I still smell like old milk. I do, too. I smell Me it too. in my nose I right now. I smell in my nostrils. Yep, yep. I have I'm to take a shower. Both of them. Yeah. Both nostrils. And we both got a nostrils. show that uh, Alex put us on. Yes, Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, tonight. The 420 well, show. Yeah. 420 show. Yeah, it's yeah. a silver dragon. You'll have missed it, but it's at St. Stephen Music Hall. Check that out. It's straight to ale. It's a fun as fuck. Yeah. It's a, It's like a punk TGI Fridays. Like that kind of vibe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Or you made it. 
Or you, you made, made it, it. yeah. You or you made it. it, or you're there, yeah. Well, yeah. Shout you out, hell yeah, hell yeah. There you go. Yeah, high yeah. five. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. yeah. Great forward thinking, Brandon. Oh <laughs> uh, man, I, I found my new favorite restaurant in town, dude. Oh, I yeah. went, I got a calzone, and oh, I made yeah. seven dollars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that was sick. I gave him a twenty dollar bill, and they gave me twenty seven in change, dude. Yeah, that was funny. So maybe I'm not anti-immigration after all. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was playing. Yeah. I gave him the money back, dude. I gave. Yeah, him he, the money he's back. a good guy. He yeah. He left money, a fat but. ass tip. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Mots. Matzas. Matzas. Matza pizza. Matza pizza. Matza pizza and Jordan Lane. It's good, dude. It's like a New York style pizza. No flop on mine. Yours had some flop to it. Yeah, my, I got the veggies. And then I got though, hey, the wetter. meatballs. Let me tell you Ooh, something. Those are good. The Perfect. meatballs were fucking fire. Hell yeah. If they do their pasta good enough, that mm-hmm. could be a fucking great plate of spaghetti. Hell, Hell, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. And if you want the best chicken parm calzone that's made out of steak, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You want some mystery really meat that's still tasty? Hell yeah. It was nice, dude. I'm not complaining. That was really good. As long as it's not gamey, right? Yeah, man, I hate that whole <laughs> and thing. And be gay, but that's not me. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shit. was a stretch. I don't f- <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. You had a homegrown last night, right, JJ? How'd that go? It happened. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan so, did an hour. An hour? Yeah. An yeah, hour so long. Shout that's out to him. Sick as hell. I think it shout ended up Jonathan being Silver. like hell yeah. 54, kind of, but damn near an hour. So that's shout out shit. to him. I mean, uh, damn. So yeah, I, I didn't know he had that Shout much. out Keenan Worthington, who will be on the podcast later. Soon. Hell, hell yeah. yeah. Uh, hell next yeah. couple yeah. weeks. Yeah. Think, two weeks. Uh, Something like that. Fucking, I call him the tickler. You'll see why. <laughs> He's got just, soul, dude. Don't put his picture. <laughs> <laughs> He's got soul. It's white Kia. He, he, I think it's like a 2018, dude. He keeps <laughs> he keeps changing his name on Instagram to like it's, it's American different. Jester. It's right American now. Jester right now. It was like I don't know what the fuck it was. It was it's it's like different like number one comedian. Like he'll just <laughs> make <it> random <laughs> shit. Uh, my boy Jack Doug's Mud Jugs. He oh, also dude, does that. that now guy. he's like Mr. Jackie's. That's why it's no okay. Name. Can't search him. He makes it hard to message yeah. him. <laughs> He's a hard man to pin down. Because I want to put JD, because that's what it was. Mm-hmm. Like JD comedy or something. It was like that? Jack Dougal comedy. Okay. Comedy for a little bit. Oh, okay. I don't know what it is Car- right now. Carson did something similar. Carson Carson was were a little clever though, because he did something with his last name or some shit. But I don't mm. remember. You don't ever have to worry about me changing shit because I barely check it. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll post stuff. I Dom don't... Carmody. <laughs> Dom Carmody. Domedy. Yeah. Stand up Domedy. Just Never. Yeah. <laughs> just look up uh, just spell it wrong and you'll find it. <laughs> um Dom Car Com D. <laughs> that's what I got. <laughs> that's your contact. <laughs> that's your contact, really. It's Alex Comdy. C O M D E Y. Okay, okay. We missed a couple we missed a word or, I mean a letter or two in there. Oh, I'll switch my, them around. Is my misspelled it's the real? Same, yes, it's it's Alex Comdy. C O M D U in Dom's phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us can't spell that well, and that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as you'll see, Brent Reed's name is probably spelled incorrectly. W E E D. Brent Reed. We four twenty, baby. Yeah, it's four twenty. Yes, it <laughs> Bent Breed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the second half is going to be great. Ooh. I think we got. Uh, I think we'll have Dan with the noobs again back this week. Oh yeah. Ooh. I said this week for some reason, but back this, this week. <laughs> back this week, and then we got the great Brent Reed. Hell and yeah, a, and it's yeah. a good, it's a good one. It's a banger, dude. Yeah, it's, it's a banger. banger. He gives out a lot Hell of good yeah. advice. Hell a lot yeah. of cool stories. So. Hell yeah. And Jack pulls up some. Uh, Ooh, good Jack really shines. He yeah, went he shined yeah. deep in his bag. He went on this deep one. in his this bag. This one was really good because everybody. Yeah, y'all, y'all see everyone yeah. shines. It's a good time. Yeah, yeah. This is good. Uh, yeah. this is good. All right, see you later. All right. Hello, and thank you for joining the Moonshine News Report. I'm Dan Price, and I'm Sierra Moses. The world lost some vitamin C this week. The juice has officially been squeezed. O.J. Simpson leaves behind five children, an impressive football legacy, a questionable criminal record, and a failed glove model career. The Donald Trump hush money trial began in New York this week. It was a mostly mundane affair with administrative and court procedures taking up most of the week, but there was one bright spot. Caitlin Clark, the number one pick in the 2024 WNBA draft, was selected by the Indiana Fever this past week. Many are celebrating her success, including country music singer Tim McGraw, who wore her jersey at his concert in Indianapolis. 
Caitlin Clark's fever jerseys have sold out at large companies such as Nike and Fanatics, and fans will have to wait months before they're back in store. Many purchases were made by 19-year-old fraternity boys desperate to get laid. And, of course, Dan Price. I'm a big fan. The women's basketball phenom holds numerous records and is the all-time leading scorer for NCAA men's and women's. She's the greatest white basketball player since Steph Curry. Many celebrated 420 on Saturday, a cannabis-oriented holiday and Domino's most profitable day of the year. Activities included binge-watching TV shows, binge-eating bags of chips, and ignoring calls from your mother. What many don't know is that the holiday originated in 1971 San Rafael, California, when a group of five high schoolers called the Waldos used 420 in connection with a search for an abandoned cannabis crop based on a treasure map left by the grower. And if that ain't the highest shit you ever heard... The first publicly acknowledged dogfight between a human-piloted aircraft and an AI-controlled aircraft was announced this week by the U.S. military. The dogfight was part of an exercise called Operation Skynet, sponsored by Cyberdyne. I mean, guys, watch a movie, will ya? DARPA did not acknowledge who won the dogfight because the machines have threatened to kill all of their families if they snitch. JoJo Siwa sparked controversy when she took to the red carpet wearing an all-black rocker glam look resembling Jean Simmons, very different than the tutus and neon bows we're used to seeing on her. Many have criticized her new look online, which is in association with her angsty new song, Karma, which ironically is also going to be her stage name in 10 years. When asked about the dramatic look, JoJo said, No one in my generation has made this extreme of a switch which is what every girl says when she starts wearing winged eyeliner. Former Philadelphia Eagles center Jason Kelsey revealed that he lost his Super Bowl ring in a pool of chili at an event in Cincinnati. It's a fitting end to a Super Bowl ring that died as so many before it lived, escaping the fingers of Philadelphia players. New York City is considering a measure to use a special bait laced with birth control drugs to control the rat population. One beneficial side effect of using birth control on rats is fewer rat mood swings, although they will still be able to remind you of everything you've ever done wrong during an argument about how to load the dishwasher. Well, that does it for the Moonshine News Report. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dan Price. And I'm Sierra Moses. Don't shoot the messengers. This week's featured comedian. My dad is like a blue collar construction worker guy, which surprises people because, you know, I look like Rachel Maddow's Bitmoji. <laughs> I called him today and I was like, hey man, how's it going? And he was like, brother, if I was any better, I'd be twins. <laughs> Can someone here explain to me what the f that means? <laughs> if I was any better, I'd be two people? I don't get it. He always had those phrases. My favorite one growing up, he'd be working on something and I'd give him advice and he'd go, Brent, I'm the one f***ing this pig, you're the one holding it down. You ever heard that one? I was like, all right, well, I'm six. <laughs> you just call me bestiality, non-consensual sex, and metaphor. All in one, pretty good. JJ, we got a really special guest today, don't we? We do. Very special guest. Very. I believe our first out of town. It's our first. Yeah. Out of town comedian, man. He's a, he's a Huntsville slash North Alabama legend. Uh huh. Legend of the game. A couple of appearances on Kill Tony. Mm. He's a regular at the, the mothership in Austin. Ooh. Yeah, you can see him at Creek in the Cave, Vulcan, Black Rabbit, various other venues. Uh -huh. I, it is my absolute pleasure to announce that our guest for today is Mr. Brent Reed. Hey! <laughs> Thank you, fellas. Thanks for having me. Hell yeah. Thanks for coming on, man. Uh, I'm very hungover from hanging out last night. <laughs> uh, you guys crushed on the roast battle. Oh, appreciate it. Was it was such oh, yeah. a Thank good you, rant, dude. You yep. guys could tell you wrote together. Sorry. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall there, but you could tell. I mean, just from a comic standpoint, you could tell you guys workshopped it. It was, dude, it was fucking great. Yeah, because you told her, I, dude, we were like, I was shitting bull. I was, because I went back and watched, yeah, watched them, and I'm like, dude, I just don't want to bomb because you, they have some bombs on there. Yeah, well, that's Ooh. what's scary oh, about yeah. roast is 
you can't work those jokes out, mm-hmm. right? The first time you say them out loud is into a microphone in front of people. So you hope they're funny. You yeah. think you have good instincts, you you know, but sometimes it doesn't hit. <laughs> uh, I the one that I lost, I you know, I feel like I was I was Dylan Carlino and he's a very good friend of mine. Uh-huh. Great comic. Funniest. He he won the funniest person in Austin competition. Oh, shit. Cab City. What's his name? Uh, Dylan Carlino. He Dylan has a Carlino. podcast called Some of This is Bad. It's him and Colton Dowling. They're so funny. Two very funny gay comics. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Not because I hate their material. They're actually sexually gay. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, but uh, D- Dylan beat me, and I feel like I had him, and I told a joke about like his dead sister who was like five. Oh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> completely lost the crowd and then his and then his rebuttal crushed so then i was just dead in the water for the rest i mean i, I had a couple of zingers after that like i was fine uh-huh. and it was a good round overall it got me booked again because that's what mm-hmm. matters is like you just want to do well and then get booked again right so it was fine but i feel like i would have won if i hadn't told that joke and his, and his rebuttal was so far. Yeah, yeah, and his rebuttal was... He's very good. Dylan is very good on the spot. His podcast is really good. He's very good improvising. This is him right here, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, Dylan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's gonna love. He's gonna love this. By the way, I, I, I he's think, a fucking pretentious <laughs> piece of shit. I'm pretty. Does he have? Like a, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's not pretentious. I love him. <laughs> Wait, I think we saw. We watched gonna say, one of his. He had the. He had the denim uh, jacket on with uh, white. I think wool. that was him. Yeah, taller guy. I think yeah, that yeah, was tall, him. yeah, taller handsome. gay guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He crushes. Mm-hmm. He was funny. Yeah. Uh, he has the whole thing like his opener. Well, not to ruin his material, but he he acknowledges the fact that he looks straight up top. Uh huh. And uh, one of my roasts for him, I said that uh, he. What was it? I'm high. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, oh, I was like Dylan. Um, thinks he presents as straight which i would totally agree with if you sealed his mouth and asshole shut i remember the first time i saw you it was at epic yeah and you did 15 and crushed uh, i thank mean you. smash and it was so good because you have a joke, I'm not going to give it away. But it's about how women can have friends in the bathroom and, yeah. men, and men don't. And we, I went to the bathroom. We just stood there for a second of <laughs> silence. And then I get, and the dude was like, I guess we're friends now. I'm like, yeah, we start high-fiving while pissing. That and, should happen more. <laughs> I genuinely believe that when I do that job. I think it's fun. Like, girls make friends in the bathroom all the time. Guys are so weirded out by it. Yeah. True. But it's like, a you could just, we're all pissing. We all got dicks. Some of us. <laughs> yeah. I've Not JJ, but <laughs> I wouldn't even need one, dude. I wouldn't even know what to do. But with I'll, it. yeah. But he's got a really cute pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, Dom. I'm not asking this guy any questions, dude. You have fun, dude. I'm walking out. I'm sorry. I take it back. No, it's okay, man. <laughs> but yeah, Epic Comedy Hour is fun. Uh, that that was like one of my goals starting out in comedy was mm-hmm. to do Epic Comedy Hour. It was really cool to come back and do it and see you guys and stuff epic is like if you're new in comedy and you're in huntsville epic comedy hour should be a goal oh it's like 100 percent uh this is something i did up top was did we talk about like comedy on this yeah oh, that's what yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry i've only seen clips um but uh that was uh, that was one thing i did when i first started off was i set like short-term goals for myself and it worked out like i was like literally one of them at first was to make a dollar doing stand-up comedy mm. you know and now I've made multiple dollars, Hell at least yeah. seven. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was like a goal. One of them was to just host at Stand Up Live, you know. And uh, you, they, they told me you, you were like the main guy they went to. Yeah, well, it was me, Scott, and Elliot, kind of on rotation. Okay. And I definitely got a lot. Uh, the Booker definitely gave me a, a few bones right before I left. She was booking me a lot. Okay, good. I, which it was. I'm so like, Lucy Sinsheimer. I, I'm so thankful for her. She, yeah, she. I thought. I don't know. I was I, when I told her I was going to move. I thought she was going to book me less, mm-hmm. and she gave me a shit ton of work there at the end. It helped me save money, and also it was like I met like Brian Simpson, for example, that changed yeah. my entire trajectory once I got once I got to Austin. So. Shout, so shout out Lucy. Damn, shout out Brian. Were you, is that who your, your connect was in Austin? Yeah. So this is a cool story. And I've never told it on a podcast. And I've been excited to tell it on a podcast. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Uh, so 
I opened for Brian Simpson when he came to Huntsville, which is normally what I say because that's just a shorter. But really, what happened is Scott was hosting for him. I went up, and met him, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a comic here. I'm moving to Austin soon." He's like, "You're moving to Austin?" I was like, "Yeah." And he was like, "You want to do a guest spot on the next show?" And I was like, "Absolutely." So I actually wasn't even booked to open for Brian, but I did both shows. Like once I did one set, he was like, "You come back tomorrow," and I did the other one, and then. Meanwhile, I was like going through a breakup, kind of like we were still dating, but I, she knew we both knew that I was leaving, mm-hmm. so it was like not going well. We were fighting, and I was in the green room and just talking to Brian about it. his feature. Is a very good friend of mine now, Lucas McCrary. He's a door guy at the Mothership. Very funny comic. Has a show at Black Rabbit on Wednesdays called Absolute Show. It's great. It's like a late so, night talk show. It's okay. Great. Uh, I think he's got a couple of those videos online too. So you, have you seen that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good, huh? Um, so Lucas was his feature. Now we're sitting in the green room. I'm bitching about my girlfriend's stuff and just like sad. I'm like, yeah, she's in town, but not talking to me, which was crazy. And Brian was like, dude, let me tell you. He's like, just follow your dreams. He was like, if it's meant to be, she'll be here waiting for you when you get back. And I was like, 10 4, sister. Um, <laughs> so we hung out. Then three months later, I, I moved to Austin. I went to the bar with like Lucas and stuff when he was in town. We didn't really hang out with Brian much outside of the shows. Mm-hmm. Um, but he was very nice. Um, fast forward, I moved to Austin. Two weeks later, the mothership opens. And then I was, I wanted to see the inside of the room. So I bought a ticket to Brian Simpson's bottom of the barrel on Tuesdays. And I went to the show and I, well, I walk in first off, they like take your shit at the door, you know, they lock your phone up. I go mm-hmm. in, who's seating people? Lucas McCrary. He's at the top of the stairs. He's like, Brian, like, I hadn't seen him since I'd moved. Or I don't think, I think this might've been the first time I'd seen him in Austin. Mm-hmm. Um, but he, he also helped me out. He sent me a lot of names to hit up for shows. None of them messaged me back, <laughs> but, <laughs> but he also like helped me out a lot. He booked me on my first day. He gave me uh, barking gigs in exchange for stage time and Hell stuff yeah. and money too. And that helps like he, yeah, Lucas is great. So I walk into mothership, he's seating people. He's like, Brant, he introduces me to someone as a very, very funny comedian. I was about to kiss him on the lips. I was like, thank you so much. Uh, he he goes, do you want to sit in the front or the back? I was like, fucking front. Like, what are we doing here? Send me those, sits me right smack dab in the front. And in the little boy in the mothership, the front is like, you can touch the comic. Like, it's oh, a bar shit. on top of the stage that your drink is on. Oh. Yeah. You're so close. And it's a tiny room. Like, how many people in the little boy? A hundred people max in the little boy. It's great. Um, one of my favorite rooms in town. Black Rabbit is a is probably. I mean, <laughs> Black Rabbit's great when it's full. Um, but anyway, so where was I? Hi, you're um, sitting in the front. Yes, yeah, smack in the, dab sit, in the front. Yeah, smack dab in the front. Third comic up is Joe Rogan. Oh shit! And I was like, well, this is worth the forty five dollars right here. And instantly, <laughs> by the way, and I said this to you guys off camera, but I think that Joe Rogan is an underrated stand up comedian. Uh, he's great. Um. Uh, yeah, just seeing him live was crazy. And then I was like, well, that's worth the $45 right there. Halfway through, Brian Simpson, uh, Sam Lopez, very funny comic. She hosts the beginning, and he picks up in like the last half. So he picks up. I go to the shitter. I come back. And as I'm sitting down into the microphone, Brian goes, where do I know you from? And I was like, uh, I opened for you in Huntsville. And he goes, oh, shit, you left that girl? (laughs) (laughs) And I was was like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm here now. And he goes, you want to do the late show? And I was like, absolutely. And the crowd goes wild. And I went, I did the late show, crushed. Adam Egget saw me and invited me back to do crew show which is like or the open mic or so it was like the crew show after the open mic mm-hmm. um i did that a couple times and it took a while for me to get past like i was i did that a few times i think dylan carlino the night so when i went i didn't have the best set when i got called back for the crew show dylan oh that's joe rogan <laughs> yeah. i'm glad brandon pulled that up like nobody uh, that, know who the fuck joe rogan is. <laughs> <laughs> Right there, that's confused as fuck. <laughs> you don't know. That's hilarious. <laughs> you don't know, right? 
So I think there Dylan, Dylan, and my other buddy Francisco Rincon. I think they both got passed, and I didn't really like. They got passed the night that I was like, I guess auditioning, sort of, or mm-hmm. he was like watching me again. But they like, I think I followed. I remember following Francisco, and Francisco crushed, and then I did fine. Mm-hmm. You know, it was a tough follow, and uh, Francisco, a very funny comic. Um, so, oh yeah, so I yeah, it took forever, and then uh, eventually. Somebody told me that I was on the list. Like one of the door guys was like, "You know, you're on the list to call in on Mondays." And what's Mondays? Uh, oh, uh, I, I get I call the mothership on Mondays and mm-hmm. give them my avails, and then they give me spots for the week. Oh right? shit! Or whatever. But I, I I only right now I'm getting like one a month on a weekend, and then I get two bottom of the barrels a week. Okay. So that's like, I'm a paid regular, technically, I guess. I'm paid paid there and I I, I go regularly. (laughs) (laughs) You fit the description. Yeah, I I feel like that's paid regular, right? But there was no like ceremony. I wanted to be knighted. (laughs) You know? But, uh,. But yeah, it took. It was a long process. I've been there a year now, and it was. I mean, I guess that's not that long. <laughs> 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 uh, but it felt like a long time. <laughs> so that's yeah, that's my mothership story. Brian helped me out a lot. So now he yeah, I, I, he gives me you know a couple extra spots a month, and he did my podcast. I literally just sent him the premise. I was like, hey, what do you think? You want to do my podcast? And he was like, yeah. And I gave him a date, and he was like, uh, he uh, he was like. Well, no, I can't do that date. Can you do this uh, this date? And we locked it in. He showed up. I was I, I was so nervous until I saw him walk into the creek in the gay where I'm recording it. Because uh, I, I, I was like, there's no way this is actually happening. And then, then he showed up and he was so nice. And he was like asking me about like, he's like, you getting paid and all this stuff. Like he's, yeah, he's a pal. He's also hard to read. I guess it's the military thing. Uh, yeah. He feels like. Well, he, like, he's one of those blacks that always look sleepy. <laughs> Hey, he's just a sleepy yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, I swear to God, I got a boy like that. He was like, yeah. nigga, wake up. When I saw him, when I saw him in Huntsville, yeah, his eyes were almost closed. He smokes, yeah. he smokes, he smokes a lot of weed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's yeah. He's my boy. I, I appreciate him. He's helped me out a lot. It's dope. Yeah. You got him on there, man. Yeah, yeah. it's the it. Spooky Fun Time yeah, podcast. Spooky Fun Time. I was it's got three episodes out now. I was watching a clip where you were talking about the. The Nightmare on Elm Street parody, yeah, like the yeah. Dream Warriors yeah, well, or whatever. It's the third. It's the third sequel. It's like, well, it's it's the third movie in the series. Oh, it's an actual. I thought it was a parody. Movie. No, <laughs> no, brother, that is the movie. It's wild. That is. That, it's insane. Nightmare on Elm Street Three: Dream Warriors. It's like an actual <laughs> sequel to the first one. The second Pull one kind of goes. Oh, okay, let's see. The, let's see. It. <laughs> yeah, the second one, uh, yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street Three. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor Brandon, I fucking love you. Yeah. Yeah. Too, I'm gonna come over there and kiss you on the lips. You got, you got, said right. okay. You got wrestling, you got wrestling action figures on your desk. Oh, he oh, you ready know to this, man, this. dude. So you know, a lot of people in this world have uh, different eras that they like. And, yeah. Uh, with wrestling, I want to know what, what were you attitude era? Attitude nope. era, attitude? Big, big attitude era guy. Because that was like the '90s, right? Yeah. I was I was born in '92, so like the Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock feud is very prominent in my memory. Um, and then I and then I guess po- I don't know what's after attitude era. Is it still like the early 2000s? Is that considered? Yeah, Cause cause, like no, they changed it up oh. around that. So it's like when you get to like 1999 and the 2000, then they made it the PG era, right? Oh, yeah. Ruthless, yeah what about Ruthless Aggression, dude? Oh, That's yeah. That's like 2003, 2002. Gotcha. Okay, so that may be Ruthless Aggression may be where I'm at. I remember, like, heel John Cena. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, and I was a big, like, Rob Van Dam guy. I remember oh, that, yeah. oh, ECW oh, shit. One Night Stand. Have you guys see, seen that where yes. uh, Rob Van Dam versus John Cena? Oh, shit, we're oh, going dude. all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got him geeked up now. Dude. <laughs> we started yeah, talking about, we'll get back to Nightmare on Elm Street. Hold up now. Let me get you. Yeah, y'all don't need to let me drive this motherfucker. I'll, we'll, be, we'll be all over the place. Oh, this shit. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, right? said that. <laughs> well, it's three letters. <laughs> <I mean, laughs> oh, I didn't even know John Cena was in ECW. Oh, yeah. uh, well, so this was a uh, this was WWE, but they ECW they did a ECW one night stand. I guess there was like a merger. Was oh, the whole storyline okay. was like WWE was taking over as like versus ECW. So they do it. It looks like ECW, and uh, of course, like Rob Van Dam, they fucking love him. Mm-hmm. He's like the ECW guy. So in this match, John Cena was a face. 
But in this match, he was getting booed the whole. He was the heel, yeah. but he still was John Cena. He was trying to be the good guy. Like he gets in the ring, he throws his shirt into the crowd, and they throw it back. And he Damn. and he does it three times. He keeps throwing it. Yep. He keeps throwing it back in the crowd. And they keep throwing it back. It is such a cool match. Yeah. Imagine if he would have won that night, man. Yeah. Oh, they, they would have. Oh, mm-hmm. dude, if John Cena would have won. That they would have burnt that they motherfucker would have down. <laughs> I swear to God, you're right. Yes. Yeah, that, they probably they might have changed it halfway through. Like, hey, dude, they're gonna fucking kill us. <laughs> That's what happened. Uh, this WrestleMania, you remember with the what was it? It was supposed to be like the Rock versus Roman Reigns. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like they were like, nah, fuck that, man. It's time for Dusty Rhodes or Cody Rhodes to come on out there. Cody Rhodes. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you like Dusty though? That's his dad. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, American yeah. Dream, right? Yes. I know yeah, that. Good dude. He's great. Is he yeah. Memphis? Where was he from? I think it was Memphis because it, didn't he do an NWA? Yeah, because yeah, he wasn't in WCW. Okay, my I roommate. Think, is, he was you, later. My roommate would definitely know. Yeah. Zach's like a big wrestling guy. Because I remember in I'm starting to notice that, like a lot of comics are wrestling guys. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, a lot you of autistic think comics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a little autism there, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Zach Hedrick was my roommate. One of my roommates was a wrestler. He was like a he oh, did shit. backyard shit, and he did a couple of like, real real shows. That's the dude his from signature, here, right? Yeah, his signature was a shooting star press. You know what that is? Yeah, that's fucking where gainer uh, off the top. Bro. Brock Lesnar broke his fucking neck. That's doing right. That. Oh, that's shit. right. It's like a backflip forward kind of. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah you're jumping forward, but your momentum is going. You do a backflip. Oh shit. Yeah, it's a gainer. He could do that, like pull it on? Yeah. That's a risk. Yeah, and how do you practice shit. that? How do you figure uh, out you uh, can do that? <laughs> That's a good question. They had a wrestling ring in their backyard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they would just practice shit and get hurt and get back up and do it again. He, he quit because he broke some shit. I yeah. can't remember. It's like both shoulders or some ribs. I bet, man. I yeah, mean, dude. He fucked himself up. And then now he's a stand-up comedian. <laughs> <laughs> he needed uh, to get on uh, DDP's program. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing yoga yeah. and shit. Oh, so... Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> <laughs> I love this podcast. This is, I just like how you guys let me talk about. Um, all right, so thank you so much, Brandon. Oh yeah, you're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> um, this movie's wild. Yeah, this was like it's so cartoonish. Like, uh, oh, it's got Lawrence Fishburne in it. Yeah, yeah. His he's on the credits as Larry Fishburne. <laughs> He oh was he was gosh. Larry when this movie came out, <laughs> um, but he's just a. It's funny that they put him on that poster. He's just like the custodian. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we yeah. Gotta get that like he's not even really a main character. <laughs> <laughs> they had to put one black guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there is yeah. one of the kids. So I, I always say kids. One of the teens, I guess. They're playing teenagers. They all have superpowers in the dreams. Oh. So this is an actual sequel to the first one. The second one kind of does its own thing. The third one has a lot of the old, like Nancy, the main, the final yeah, girl. I from was going to say one. she's on the left, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has her dad in it. Like people that were in the first movie that kind of. And then there's these new teenagers that are all in this insane asylum, and uh, Freddie's picking them off one at a time and making it look like suicides. And they all have superpowers, but the black guy has super strength. <laughs> um, that makes sense. The, the main girl, the blonde, she can like pull everybody in her dreams to like help her, and she's also like an acrobat. <laughs> <laughs> and her then, fucking power is throwing other people under the bus. Yeah. <laughs> this is now your problem. And then I'm literally just doing the clip now <laughs> <laughs> that you mentioned. But yeah, it's a it's a great it's a great movie. It's one of my favorites. It's so funny. I love a I love a horror comedy. Yeah, yeah I was, I was going to ask you that. You, you're big in a horror. Yeah. All horror films are just horror comedy. Uh, all of them, but my favorites are usually funny. Yeah, and and and, and Freddie was the funniest one. Yeah, he's that, always yeah, calling him a bitch. He's a man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that. that's that's one of the kills. He slams this lady through a fucking TV and says, "Welcome to prime time, bitch." Oh, <laughs> Damn. I might watch this tonight. I've never seen. Oh, that. dude, you'll love it, Brandon. It's great, dude. It's so much fun. I got to start on the first one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, do the first <laughs> one. You can even skip the second one if you want, oh, but. Deal. And uh, and just do the third one because it's nobody. The second one doesn't affect this. This one is the actual okay. sequel to the first one. Okay. The second one kind of does its own thing. Kind of like how it was, right? In a way, you remember no. how they remade the it? Oh it yeah, too? well that was like a That's reboot. Just a remake. Oh, that was a reboot. Okay. <laughs> Right. Brandon also just said in there earlier he was like what's up with all these people taking Advil to party oh, yeah. and I'm Dude. like are you talking about the headache medicine he was like yeah they're, they're saying they were partying taking Advil he's talking about Adderall <laughs> <laughs> I was like maybe they just don't want to have a headache I know I was watching I was like this dude he's like I took two 
Well, now I know it's what's the Adderall. Uh-huh. At first, I was like, "What's up with Advil?" Like these people going to parties and shit. Brandon's trying to buy Advil. 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 <laughs> I'm like, well, "What the fuck it do?" Like, like, like right now I'm learning with Zen. I'm like, "What does Zen do?" <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Zen is nicotine. Okay. <laughs> that that <laughs> also did not <laughs> answer <laughs> his <laughs> question. <laughs> he does not know what that means. I think, I think I Brandon needs to hear one of Brandon's stories. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, Tee him up. Tee him up. Brandon. Um. T- tell our friend here, man. Uh, there's so many. There's dude. so many, but you right. go. To, what happened the first time you busted a nut? This is. I've been wondering wow. this all time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad someone asked. Wow. Well, since it's on the table, I, I, the first day I did this, I got scared because I didn't know what was happening. Because I was a kid, I didn't know shit, right? So Were you confused that your cum wasn't black? <laughs> Dude, this, this was the time that I didn't even know what beat me was. Like, kids would come up and be like, hey, man, you beat your meat. And I, I, I'm i embarrassed to say this now, but I used to really think people were hitting on, like, meat and shit. Right? Yeah. And legs. So I would be like, what the fuck are you talking about, beat yeah, meat? Yeah. But uh, I was, okay, so I was curious when I found out. And then I was doing it, and then it happened, and I got scared and, like, freaked out. Cause I thought I got hurt. And like, <laughs> you know, You're bleeding, come. Yeah. It was weird. I was like, this shit ain't going down. I'm a, like, I'm around my family. I was like, bro, what it ain't going down. And, and then, what like, is I, that? And then after I realized what happened, I was back the next day. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Then you say you you were scared it was gonna explode. Yes, it, like I thought because dude, when it happened, I was like, "Yo, this is weird. This is not right." <laughs> this was six I years was a ago. Kid. I was this a kid. is crazy. I was a kid, man. I was like, how old was I? Probably like fourteen. Jesus Christ! That's the first time you jacked off when you're fourteen. I didn't know shit, man. You remember I told you when I, I was have been twelve or fourteen? How old yeah. are you when you jacked? Definitely in junior high. We were on Yahoo chat rooms. <laughs> Look, look. Oh so look, God, you go to man. Yahoo chat rooms and then you'd be like, uh, in for in, yeah. nude for nude. And then you would go there, but no no chat rooms would do it besides the lesbians. Now I know it was just guys doing the same thing we were doing. Yeah. But we would all go in there and send a neck of pictures and then they would send oh, us ones man. back. That is so funny. used to be, funny. be like fake pictures of Christina Aguilera and shit like that. Yeah, I've never <laughs> thought of fuck. I definitely did shit like that too. Never crossed my mind that it was just another dude like me on the other yeah. side. <laughs> I didn't think about it till like recently. I was yeah. like, dude, those were That is dude. so goddamn funny. Until he tried to get back on there. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh. Wait, so you said it, that it, it would look like girls, but it wouldn't be? No, no, it would be like real pictures, okay, but okay. we're talking, like we're uh, t- like sex talking yeah, to Yeah, you would have you would oh, cyber. Shit. Yeah. Cyber sex? Yeah, cyber okay. sex. I saw you were talking about getting tricked. Like, that shit. Yeah, Jay, you're probably too young to remember that. Oh, hell yeah. No, that's no way. It was, I was like 12, but that was like 2015. Oh man, Jesus. so, so yeah. 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 a long time ago. Kind of but we, yeah. our, our sex thing was, was like a, our big thing was Omegle, where you could just oh, get on oh, camera yeah. with random people, and there'd always be dudes with their dicks out. Yeah, what was the other one? Chat roulette. Monkey. Chat roulette was dude. Probably so many crimes were committed on that website. It's oh, insane, yeah. dude. <laughs> oh yeah, lots of penises. <laughs> That's always funny too. It's like you just roll the dice. Like, and odds are you're getting a cock. <laughs> Yeah. But you'd roll the dice anyway because it might be a boob. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? Yeah. You but might catch you a lady on a bed. For dude. every, for every <laughs> probably 50 dicks, you might get a, a lady with a boob. <laughs> is would they be, would they be already like jacking off and shit? Yeah, because they oh, yeah, yeah, they're doing the same shit. Oh, they're okay. like <laughs> waiting for a lady, <laughs> but they're, they're way like ahead the, of the game. The <laughs> interest <laughs> tag. So you type in a tag of like, oh, this is what I'm interested in. This is what I want to have a conversation about. And if you look up like hot girls you're just gonna find other dudes jerking off oh, yeah. absolutely you see what i'm saying yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's a double-edged sword <laughs> it's a double-edged sword i used sword. to use those like as a uh, dating ass when i was younger you remember monkey oh oh my god! how did you do yeah. a monkey I, what? I i per, monkey was like the mobile app version of omega it was oh, the same okay. concept yes. you get matched with random people but like that one was wild was because brutal. there would be like actual like children on there because it's like they they could get it on their uh, iPad or see. whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yikes! Playing this with is fire. when I was young. It was bad. This is when I was like twelve or eleven. I get on there and I and I used to man. Just Brandon, you had a hard enough on. time in real life, dude, dude. My friends would put me on there and they'd be like, "Look at this nigga right here." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the girls, like the girls, would be like, "Oh my gosh, what the fuck is that?" Uh, and then, and then they would get, they would get all the numbers and shit, and I'd be like, "Well, damn!" And they'd be like, I don't know what "Brandon, Brandon, tell Brent about your uh, feet pick selling Come adventure." On, man. Oh, you don't want to tell him about that? 
You saw pictures yeah. of your feet? No, I didn't. So, well, yeah, well, okay, well let's be truthful here. So my friend, this, I hate that these are all true. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> my friend, we were on FaceTime, and he's like, this is a weird question to ask. But he said to me, he was like, hey, man, you know, I'm having a bad day. How about you just do this for a second of your foot, and I'll give you $2. <laughs> and I said, you know what? Sure. This is your body? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, listen, man. They're still are, friends. They're still yeah, friends. They're still like like best friends. If I was FaceTiming, like, Alex yeah. or Matt, that, and they, <laughs> that they did, weird. I would probably never talk to him. <laughs> I know. But I grew up with this dude. I knew this dude since I was uh, in second grade. He li- I literally met him because he threw rocks at me, and we were like, we hated each other at first, but... After he had like a Wii system, he, and he, I got, had a, one. he got a glimpse of that that foot. Yeah, <laughs> he had a glimpse of them piggies, and he was yeah. like, "Maybe we can't be friends." He was a big wrestling fan. Did you too. hear his rationale for being friends with him? He was like, "I met him because he was throwing rocks at me, but he had a Wii." <laughs> Yeah. Man, because dude, right. I went to his house. He's like, "You got a wee?" I was like, "You got a wee?" And dude, dude, we went to each other's house every day after that. We 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 all the way home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He hit him with a damn. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, there it is. But yeah, that was yeah. That yeah, it only happened twice. It was bad. <laughs> The second time, he was like, hey, man, you know what? <laughs> I don't learn sometimes. But he, he, was like, he was like, hey, man, just, just real quick, I, I'll give you two more dollars. I know you're struggling. And we told him already at this point, like, dude. Your friend shouldn't be asking you and paying you like it was a joke. He wouldn't pay do, you. Do you tell these stories on stage? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. We yeah. try to get him to. It's, he doesn't even too. understand why they're... He told us like when we first started hanging out how he almost got uh, kidnapped and molested four okay, different times. Okay, Brother, yeah. you need to just be on stage being as honest as possible. <laughs> you need to just be doing what you're doing right now because that shit is so funny. <laughs> and no one's had those your perspective. <laughs> no one. That's never happened to anybody else <laughs> really? on the entire on the entire planet. <laughs> Tell them about the monkey bars, bro. <laughs> Right, I'm man. almost convinced. Right. I'm almost convinced this is a bit. And, JJ, no, and JJ's making shit up. And making I'm, shit up. I'm, I'm his friend. Call right now. He'd be like, "Yeah, man, I remember that shit." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so there was this special kid that was helping me on the monkey bar. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They used to think I was a little special too. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yes, brother. Dude, yes. so so uh, he was helping me. He said, "Dude, I'll hold you up like this." And and like in the middle of it, he swung me on my back and made me fall. Right now, I was like, "Hey, hey, what was that about?" And he's like, "I'm sorry, man. I'm, you want to do it again?" And I said, "Sure." <laughs> and then he hit me again. I was like, "Yo, wait, hold on, man. This is not right. What's your problem?" He said, "I'm sorry, man. I keep tripping." And then the fourth time, I couldn't get up. <laughs> <laughs> fourth I time. I learned this. Yeah, yeah. And then we yeah. were. I was like, "Fuck this." Who's the special one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a weird kid. Like, I was weird. And my mom told me because she was like, "Dude, back in the day, you didn't know." Shit. She was like, "This kid was throwing rocks at me, and then my, is he my friend?" And now she was like, "No, Brandon, fuck no." <laughs> and now I know that's my friend that we're talking about right now with the foot. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, that's I'm amazing. Yeah, and that's the same dude with the football. <laughs> oh my. Hey, so uh, so, <laughs> so you are a baseball player? Uh, I was bad. Fourteen years. Yeah. Oh, well, you had a bad average of uh, oh shit. 105. Why do you know this? <laughs> right. Uh, How do you know? Negative three point five WAR. Oh damn! I don't even know what WAR means. I don't watch baseball. <laughs> what is that? Is it, is it war, pronounced dude. war? Or war? What, do, do you really? Have, yeah. <laughs> is it my stats? Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. dude. We got everything, man. Are you showing him the info? Dude? Yeah, no, no, I'm not is that, that's man. bad, right? Point one oh five. Yeah, that's no terrible. terrible yeah, that's real bad. <laughs> yeah, I was. But you're a pitcher, right? I played. No, I was. Oh, uh, oh. I was a second. <laughs> You motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I'm a top. You son of a bitch. I was a second baseman. And I, yeah, I, I played for 14 years and sucked the whole time. It was bad the whole time. My dad was my coach. I it, I wish at any point someone was like, hey, maybe this isn't your thing. <laughs> but there weren't really a lot of options in my high school. It was like an Alabama high school in the middle of nowhere. You know, I didn't, you know, I, I sang in choir. I wish I would have done like a drama program or something but you it's fine i feel like i you know i was funny but i, I sucked so bad i quit my i finally quit my junior year of high school because i was like wait this is the only place where i ever it's not like i was i guess bullied is the word but they were my friends and we were like once i quit baseball it was all good mm-hmm. they were just basically letting me know in a funny way that i sucked at baseball oh. <laughs> <laughs> but but i was like a kid you know i was anxious and i it hurt my feelings and uh <laughs> finally i was like oh yeah this is 
is the only time this happens. Other everywhere else, I'm pretty respected. I'm funny. <laughs> you know, it's like on the baseball field, I'm getting so much shit because I suck. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. So I quit, and I was happier. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I played for a long time. I played every sport. I played wow. I played, football. Played football what a couple hell, couple years. Uh, free safety. Free safety. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> How many times did you get drunk? Oh, dude. So I was actually pretty good. Really? Uh, well. I, I have like this whole reckless abandon thing. Oh, okay. like I would so just, you went at him. Yeah, I would just put my body on the line. But I, I wasn't. That. I'm not very fast. I my toes point outwards. <laughs> so in basketball, I'm very good at defense because I'm good at strafing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fast as fuck. I was in, on my basketball team growing up. I was the fastest one if we were strafing. If we were, <laughs> if we were sprinting, I was slower than the fat guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was slow. I'm so slow. Yeah, I, I feel you on the joining drama club thing. I wish I'd have did that, but I thought that made you gay. So right, right. I, I mean, do it. I did sing in choir, and that was pretty fun. <laughs> you thought you did choir? Yeah, in, in high in high school. Yeah, like a couple of years. I quit that too, but I did it for a couple of years. Fuck you guys. Yeah, I did in that. Alabama though. That's yeah, a, that's a bold choice. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Well, there were you know, I had some friends in there. And uh, yeah, nobody really gave a shit. It was also here's an interesting thing. I don't know if you guys had this, but like my high school is East Lawrence High School. It's very small. I went with this. I went to school with the same motherfuckers kindergarten to yeah yeah oh, yeah. That's how I was. yeah we yeah. have to yeah. graduation yeah, yeah, so we do we actually yeah do so I don't know nobody really gave a shit. My friends would bust my balls or whatever, but they act, like I don't know. With senior year, I really started to become myself. I feel like you know, so I didn't really give a shit. Your uh, your dad's a big six three blue, um, blue collar dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. My dad is a construction worker. Uh, angry guy, very funny guy. <laughs> Why did he uh, make you drive with a quarter on the dash? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Do you guys do this much research every time? Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, we got we got our <laughs> intel guy. That's our research guy. This dude's oh, a yeah. monster, secret yeah. weapon. Yeah, so that's Nardwar. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's so funny. So my my dad, yeah, when he taught me to drive, he put a quarter on the dash because he wanted me to drive smoothly. Mm -hmm. So That's I had smart. to stop and take off without the quarter moving. But here's the thing, fellas. That's not how momentum works. So I got, <laughs> so I got yelled at a fucking lot because, because this quarter was sliding off the dashboard and I would get frustrated and yell at him. Like now, I, I like, you know, I've gone to therapy and so I also have an anger issue, but now oh, I like, yeah. I'm a little, I'm self aware of it. But used to, my dad would yell and then I would yell and that would piss him the fuck off. You know what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. didn't know how to, so, uh, so yeah, <laughs> when, you, when you had the anger issue, you get in a lot of fights. Uh, I've been in three fights. I headbutted a guy at a bar one time. Right, that's what yeah. I'm talking about. The Glasgow yeah. Kiss, dude. Yeah, is that what that is? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what is it called? Kiss. The Glasgow Kiss. So yeah, I told this story I think on my pod, but I was walking out of a bar and I was with a lady that I'd been seeing, um, and somebody yelled. I just gotten fired from the radio station like two weeks before this. One hundred two point seven Kiss FM. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. And uh, right yeah, two thousand thirteen to two thousand nineteen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. This is so funny. Uh, I love this so much. This is really stroking my ego. Uh, so we were leaving the bar, and this dude yelled out her by name. He was like, hey, you're making a mistake. And I was like, what the fuck did you say? And we kept walking. And then he said it again. And then like a third time, I was like, mm. okay, well, fuck. Yeah. And then I walked back. I was like, hey, motherfucker, what's your problem? Or something like that. <laughs> something that, you know, similar. Uh -huh. And he's like, bah, 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 radio. I was like, what? And he's like, you think just because you're on the radio, you could do whatever you want? And I was like, motherfucker, I ain't on the radio anymore. And at this point, we're like this close. And he's like, good, because you got a shitty radio voice. And I was, I remember just thinking, okay, I can't. Yeah, I mean, I that. That didn't bother, like, what he said didn't bother me. It was just the fact that I was going home. Mm -hmm. I think it was the, what angered me was, like, I was leaving. I was going home. I wasn't doing anything wrong. Yeah. And he wanted to start some shit. And I was like, I can't walk away from this situation and not hate myself. Because I had been in two situations prior to this where I backed down. Like, I did a set one time at, where was it? It was, uh... It was this place called The Boiler Room in Florence, Alabama. This musician that booked me on my first 10-minute set to open for his music thing. He was like mm -hmm. a pop guy. Uh, 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 Remy Neal is his name. 
Do you know about this? Is this on the goddamn paper? Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Yeah, wow. yeah let's find it. Oh, so that was my first 10 minute. That was my Remy first 10 minute set uh, was Remy Neal. So he comes to. F- Lips Lounge. Lips Lounge? Remy. Sorry. I don't, we can cut that out. No, we ain't cut it. What the, the fuck is the Remy guy that owns Lips Lounge? Sorry. Oh, what really? What the fuck is Lips Lounge? The, the, the karaoke bar by uh, Speakeasy. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, Remy's a pal. He saw me to open mic uh, in Huntsville. We drove from Florence, like an hour and a half, to do the open mic in Huntsville. And he saw me. He booked me to do ten minutes before his like set, mm-hmm. and uh, it went pretty well. Luckily, the s- stage lights were right in my fucking face, so I couldn't see. Like I had a table of people there for me. I. I'm pretty sure it was mostly them laughing. But luckily, I had the lights in my face, and I couldn't tell. It wasn't in my head. I had a fine 10-minute set. So fast forward, Remy does a show in Florence, and he texts me. He's like, hey, swing by and do some time while I get some beer or something. And I was like, sure. Well, it was the worst set of my life. The mm. audio wasn't great for stand-up, and just people were ambushed with it. Um, a guy came up to me after my set, and he was like, mad. Like, just that. I did it. Like he, <laughs> and, and then like I had some fraternity brothers there that saw me bomb. And this is like I was like only a few months in. Oh know? shit! I'm like yeah, so you're only a few months. You did ten minutes. Yeah, wow. yeah. I was like Damn. six months in. I mean, you're always going to be asked to do more time than you have. You're mm-hmm. always going to you got to stretch at least once, right? So yeah. you're always the first time you do five, you probably don't have five, but you're going to do five. The first time you're given ten, you you can do ten, mm-hmm. but you're you know you'll stretch, you'll figure it out. Um, so. I, yeah, bomb of my life. And this dude, buff dude, and like a too small of a shirt comes up to me and he's like, hey, that joke you did about kicking that baby or whatever. He's like, that, I thought that joke was obtuse. I was like, really? Because I thought it was a cute joke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey. uh, no, but he was an asshole and I didn't punch him in his face. And then there was like another time where like, I went into like fight or flight when I was, this is also a girl thing, but a dude tried to hit me. I like ran, like I just went into fight or flight. I ran across the street and I was like, oh yeah, what the fuck am I doing? And then I faced him and then like we scrapped up. He took my shirt off and then cops pulled up. Like he tried to like pull my shirt over my head. I slipped out of it and then the cops pulled up. Oh, okay, okay. And well, then you can't so, do nothing about that. Yeah, yeah, and so all these guys, anyway, th- those are two times where I bitched out. Mm-hmm. So f- now I'm standing in front of this motherfucker. He's just being an asshole to me while I'm leaving. I was like, I'm not doing this again. And I did one of these. Like I pulled out my pulled off my glasses, like fixed my eye and I head butted him in the nose. <laughs> hell, yeah. hell yeah. I don't know why Damn. he let me do that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that, I'm telling you, that's what happened. And like, there's one one guy like I, I know a lot of people were outside but there's one guy if i see him in florence he delivered for like coca-cola if he sees me out he's like yo <laughs> he's like this this is a bad motherfucker you know because uh yeah I, I busted him open and then i remember he like swung I, I had i didn't have my glasses on i think i handed them off to someone and then like i was like he was punching at me i remember dodging and we eventually somebody just they were like hey just leave <laughs> And he stretched the. He got blood all over my, uh, all over my Golden Girls shirt. Not my blood. Oh, no. um, and he like stretched the fuck out of it where it was unwearable. But that was it. And then I went home with that lady. And I scared the shit out of her. She was like, "What the fuck?" She, <laughs> was she, she could, riled up though? Well, she was. Yeah, I. I think she was probably because she. Oh yeah, that's gonna do it. <laughs> she saw me because she. I'm just a nice boy, you know. <laughs> she see me do stand up comedy. I'm silly and fun. And then I headbutt this motherfucker in the face. She was like, "Oh god, what am I?" Oh, that's oh. a win. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they he's see you're dangerous. crazy. If they're like, he's dangerous, he's funny, yeah. he's nice, but yeah. you took him off and they'll fuck So, him. yeah, and all that just built, yeah, I'm, I have an anger issue, and it's like, I only recently figured out how to set boundaries and how to communicate without anger. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I've never been, like, abusive to any of my, I don't know, didn't mean to sound like I've ever beaten the shit out of you. <laughs> But I've just always been, you know, I'm just an angry guy, and I usually keep it like pin up. And I used to, I used to come out on stage a lot. Alex saw that a lot. I used to like, yeah, like you tell telling people to shut the fuck up and stuff like that. It wasn't great. <laughs> um, but uh, but I, I don't know. I kind of like that about myself. I, I like that I'm a little spicy. It I, I think yeah. it protects me a little bit. Because you're a yeah. nice guy. Like every time I've met you, yeah, you've been yeah, nice. Your, you. your yeah. stand up is great. 
Amazing. First of all, oh, let's put yeah. that oh, out there. Perfect. Thank you so much. Your stand up yeah, is bomb. You. If you're out there, I bombed twice on Kill Tony, so don't hold that against me. Oh, hey, hey, we're uh, we're Eskimo Bros. <laughs> oh, you're, yeah. the fir- you're the first. You're the first person that's been on Kill Tony too. I, I was, oh yeah, I was on it. Uh, Eskimo Bros. <laughs> yeah. That'd be crazy if you just had a lady's name on that piece <laughs> of paper. <laughs> did we? Did we both- <laughs> Which was the best <laughs> <laughs> Matt Bamort, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah. <laughs> Shout out. Matt's hilarious, too. He runs Hell up. Yeah. He was he was a roast battle uh host in, in Chicago. Roast yeah, yeah. Master. I'm yeah, sorry. he was he was one of the co founders yeah. of uh Roast Battle Chicago. Or founder? <laughs> Yeah, oh, single hell, hell, we got superstars, and we wish we can get them on, but we don't have any more mics. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we're on a budget. We're on a budget, guys. <laughs> He's chilling. But next time you come down, dude, and we'll have all kind of shit on you, man. Hell yeah, oh, good <laughs> shit, man. We may try to do this again in like six months. Dude, that'd hell be yeah. awesome. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah, that'd be awesome. Because we had so much fun, we didn't make any money, but <laughs> <laughs> but it, but it's been a very fun trip, and uh, we're best friends now. It's been, <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. No, it's it's been fun. It's been good. Hell yeah. <laughs> Gay as hell. Yeah. I had never seen your stand up before yesterday. Oh really? Yeah, because I didn't You, you didn't know. come to Epic that time because you yeah. hate me. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I knew Brenton was there and I fucking hate that guy. Yeah. Well you're also in school, right? That's Yeah, well Dom is too. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Yo, really? You're a You're forty seven years old. Jesus. Gee, I'll be I'll get paid for it. Oh, that's I'm, about, sick. I'm about done with this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I hate it. Yeah, and, and I'm I had slow, to, too. <laughs> then all. I had to fucking follow this guy at Stand Up Live, dude. How'd it go? Oh. We had a jet. Did you do good? Yeah, it was all right. Yeah. I, 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 was, I was pleased. I, had, I didn't have the most fun there. They were, they they were, were a little tough. They were. Yeah, Raina really had to like crack them open when she opened. Yeah. It was yeah. bad. Yeah, it was tough. Sometimes Stand Up Live is like that. Oh, yeah. And depends. you would think it'd be the other way around since it's a comedy well, club. Well, you know here's the I mean? thing. For those, I don't know if I'm outing their business, but for those showcase, like those are usually free tickets. Mm-hmm. Nobody bought tickets to that. To like, I mean, some people probably did, but most of them are probably like giveaways to pay. Yeah, pay and they call them. you yeah. up and like, you know, yeah, you got yeah. five free tickets too. Yeah, so that room can be tough when it's a lot of that. Any papered room is because the audience has no investment. Mm, okay. And then they're pissed about the two item minimum. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. And the prices aren't. Right. They, they're <laughs> entertainment. Like venue prices, but goddamn that food at Stand Up Live is so good. It is. Yeah, it is. I think about it those chicken good. wings all the time. I used to live oh, off yeah. those motherfuckers. That's what I did. That's what I had when I was there. Dude. Yeah, they're great. Oh, you made chicken wings for us today. Boss. So like fucking good. I yes. appreciate it. Thank man. you so much. Yeah, man. You can, Dom can throw the fuck down in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. I don't and know then, if you could tell. But. <laughs> <laughs> we can and tell. The, <laughs> and then those thin, those shoestring yeah. fries with the queso on top. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, no. he fucks with it. Yeah, right, good, very good. good. Shit, good Thank shit. you so much. For well, food. we appreciate you coming on. Now, yeah, speaking dude. about food, I hope this is uh, false, but you only <laughs> eat hamburgers cold oh, and no. cheeseburgers hot? <laughs> okay. So is this gonna... real? <laughs> no, that's stupid. Brandon wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Did he? Who, 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 no, 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 no. So dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> <Just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a cult. The other day, I was at this. There's this really funny show at Sunset Strip in Austin, and uh, they always do like like stand for the national anthem, and it's always something crazy. And uh, somebody sang, it was like, stand for the national anthem. And a guy sang, take me out to the ball game. <laughs> <laughs> and then a uh, uh, very funny comic. Uh, what, what's the comic? Oh, she, who? Scott, Scott Fillmore. Scott Fillmore uh, was dressed as like a, uh, he was dressed as a, I think that's his name, right? Yeah. Gay guy, door guy at Sunset? Scott Fillmore. Scott Fillmore. Yeah, uh, yeah. He um, was throwing hot dogs into the crowd, <laughs> and I opened one up. I was like, "I'm about to snack on this one." And it was uh, it was a bun around. It was just a raw hot dog. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. This dude right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's hilarious. Yeah, he's done like Kill Tony. He's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's also he also roasted Heath. Uh, oh, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I they they had a one. really funny battle. Yeah, Heath won. Yeah, Heath is your uh, roommate. Right yeah, now. yeah. Heath or is my he, roommate. Or he crashes on your couch. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, he's. He would hate if I said that. He uh, <laughs> he pays rent. He pay. I charge it. He pays a third of rent. Oh, okay. He does have to sleep on the couch 
because that's all we got. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he sleeps on my bed sometimes, not with me. <laughs> <laughs> but every once in a while, if I'm gone, I'm like, hey, I, my sheets are clean. If you want to crash on my bed, you're good. Uh, you know, but he does want to find, and he's getting his own place soon. Shout out Heath. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he did, he was, was all, great. He, he was nice. Yeah, he's a great roommate too. He, Is he? Yeah, he does the dishes. He's funny. We, I laugh with Heath more than I laugh with anyone. Oh, he is okay. so goddamn just naturally funny. We play we play switch sports a lot. We, yeah, we've been playing a lot of uh we've been playing a lot of like uh, switch like golf and bowling. He that motherfucker is so good at we at uh switch go- golf and bowling. He's I'm better at golf, he's better at bowling. And then we also started playing tennis, which is fun. We're on the on the switch. Okay, oh, yeah, 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 not real. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, we're fucking. Yeah, we're not. Me and Heath, we don't play real sports. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's he's great. I great, love that that, that sketch you did about the uh, Jinx vibe. Yeah, dude. that Have was you- something that me and Heath. So Zach Hedrick, I guess, did the final. Like he wrote it out, but me and Heath riffed that idea out. Like we were just laughing about it. Like Jinx, you owe me a soda, bitch. <laughs> that might have been. That sounded good. That sounded, yeah, that was a great that was a good impression. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll drop that in right here. Oh yeah. That- Um, it, uh, we ripped that. We were just laughing about it. It was so funny because I think we did like say something at the same time, and he was just like, "You owe me a coke." I was like, "I'm not giving you a fucking." Uh, honestly, I think our riffing might have been. We should have incorporated this in the sketch, but really, what happened was he was like, "We were just riffing," and he was like, "You owe me a coke," and I was like, "No, I fucking don't, stupid." And he's like, "You better give me a fucking coke right now." <laughs> and I'm like, "I'm like, I'm not giving you a fucking coke, you psychopath." And then we, and then we like. We're laughing about how funny it would be if he just killed me with a Coca Cola <laughs> <laughs> and make it a Coke commercial. So, <laughs> so that was where the idea came from. It was fun. Yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah, man. yeah. Uh, uh, oh, you got no. Okay, because I was gonna say that this this is the end of the episode. I thank you so much. It's, Whoa, oh, we could go longer, yeah, but go I, I, I don't know way. if you guys got to go. Uh, is it is it fifty minutes now? It's forty seven right now. Yo, mm. that flew by. That was yeah. so much fun. Hell yeah, it's been. It's been hell I'm yeah, telling dude. you, it's been a great one. Yeah, this it, is really good. Let me let me get some more shit off that piece of paper. Okay, hell oh, yeah, dude, we'll, I got we'll, you. We'll, so yeah. you so your first open mic. You you did one two years before this, but you don't consider that the start. <laughs> <laughs> it was on uh, June fifth, twenty nineteen, at Singing River Brewery in Florence, Alabama. Your friends pressured <laughs> you to do it with Kevin, but he was a huge pussy. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> Kevin Kevin pushed out. I called him right before I went and did the mic. And I, he was like, give me what you have. And I ran some shit by him. He goes, yeah, we shouldn't do this. <laughs> 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 and so I was, I was like, okay, I, he's kind of right. Like a couple of things weren't great. I got in the shower. I rethought over my set, like threw in something. My first bits were a lot of things that I was kind of saying to a lot. I kind of had bits before I started doing stand-up comedy, just like at parties where I would tell the same stories uh-huh. or say the same joke or always do pew, 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 like whenever something <laughs> bad happened, whenever somebody was like, I got herpes, I'm like, pew, 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 you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, shit like that. So that was like what my first set was. And it went well. Uh, before that, two years before that, I did Copper Top and... <laughs> I had never done stand up before. I didn't understand the concept of like the time thing. They gave us 10 minutes. The, oh, shit. And I had a solid two and a half, three. <laughs> but instead of just doing my three and sitting the fuck down like I should have, I 
stayed up there for a miserable another seven minutes. That's why of just talking and trying, and it was so bad. I didn't under I didn't get. You know. if, if you're watching this and you don't do stand up, that's insane. Yeah. yeah so then, <laughs> that's so. <laughs> so fucking yeah. Crazy. So after that, I you know started watching Kill Tony. That was back when it was at the uh, store, mm-hmm. and uh, that got me. I was like, okay, I get what I'm supposed to do. I was listening to podcasts. I was listening to like Tuesdays with Stories. I started consuming way more comedy because mm-hmm. I'd always been a fan. Me, me and Miles, uh, who who started shortly after me, he's like one of my best friends. Um, and I officiated his wedding, but uh, <laughs> he, uh, I lost my train again. What was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> my, how, you, uh, how, you, how you got into comedy? You oh said yeah, you, okay, okay. So, so Miles, um, why did I bring him up though? Fuck, I'm so high. <laughs> 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 um, what, where was I before? Right before that, Miles, um, son. Oh, fuck. You uh, helped him with the wedding. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I I did. Oh, that's right. So I did 10 minutes, um, and Miles started shortly after me. I was going to tell a story about Miles, but I forgot it. But that's it. (laughs) Uh, Copper Top, yeah, I bombed. Uh, then yeah yeah okay so me and Miles went to a lot of shows together. That was what I was going to. Uh, We were doing we were we went and saw Segura at Zanies, and this motherfucker is like doing like huge venues now, theaters and stuff. But yeah, we we did. We saw him at Zanies. We saw Joey Diaz at Zanies, and then shortly thereafter, Stand Up Live opened, and we saw. I think we might have saw Bert at Stand Up Live. Okay. And, uh, the day I took Scott Easton's comedy class, I saw Tell. Oh, oh damn. and that might be the best That's live like, performance I've. I'm mean, one of the best live performances I've ever seen. No, go to the thing I pulled up earlier. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah, minimize that. I think yeah. we got a picture of what you're talking about. Go all the way to the bottom. Yeah, go go down. Go down. There you go. Is that when you met Tom Segura? Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's pull this up. Yeah, that's me, Miles, and Tom Segura. Oh, let me go right. down. Is it going down? There it is. Oh, I saw Dundee. Okay, Dundee. yeah, there it is. That's my <laughs> high school girlfriend, Mark Viola. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, shit. You're good. You're good. Honey. You go. Go. Fuck, I'm all right. Oh, that was when I did comedy and drag. That's what I was about oh, to ask you. 2019 at oh, yeah. a shenanigans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, me and me and Zach did comedy and drag. The one on the right is from whenever the pandemic. That was 2020, in the middle of the pandemic, and we did a show on the fucking loading dock. I didn't know that picture existed. Where did you find that? <laughs> He's a beast. <laughs> He's a beast. Yeah. He's good. I would He's love to have that. I would beast. love for you guys to send me that picture. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you can have all. Uh, that yeah. So yeah, we did a show on a fucking loading dock behind <laughs> shenanigans and people back their goddamn cars in and tuned the radio to a certain frequency they could hear us on the radio. But it was like, you couldn't hear them laugh. So it was so lonely. And then you couldn't, they were, I think at first we were honking and then Wendy's was like, hey, you guys gotta stop. <laughs> <laughs> so then they were just like flashing their lights and it was really hard to do stand up but i mean i also i was you know a, a few months in i was almost a year in at that point it was like i was getting better and i was i needed i mean it was good to, to just go, say right? my set mm-hmm. you know i think it was good hell yeah i was just talking to alex about this i was like i'm the type of comedian i have to go up every like a lot yeah you should I, everybody fuck yeah, up yeah well that's you should mm-hmm. you need to get on stage you need to not be turning down any stage time right now where yeah. you're at you need to be on stage as much as possible, going to the gym constantly. You're going to get stronger. You're not going to notice. And then you're going to get booked at Stand Up Live, and you're going to crush, and you're going to be like, oh, that was super easy. That's why I go to all these That's shitty what, bar shows. Yep. And then what we want to uh, – this is this is a comedy podcast about, you know, we're all young. We're all yeah. under a year. And, yeah. Well, I mean, young in comedy. <laughs> uh, all right, all right yeah. Alex. This motherfucker is not yeah. out of roast mode. Yeah, yeah also, <laughs> also, Alex has been doing comedy for like 14 years. <laughs> <laughs> but – but we like to, um, for people who like watch this, usually it's somebody who thinking about starting stand up or yeah, just yeah. starting. And what do you got any advice for? Um, okay. So I don't feel like I'm in a place to give yeah, advice, but I will. I yeah. will. Uh, but yeah, I just, I feel like I'm still a baby is the advice that I would say. I'm five years in. Mm-hmm. I'm a five year old in comedy. I'm a kindergartner. This is a, this is not a sprint. You know, mm-hmm. it's a, uh, what's the other thing? What's the a marathon? marathon. Yeah. This, is a mar- <laughs> this is a marathon, not a sprint. Just don't quit. Do it as much as possible. You're going to get better. And, uh, you know, get on the road. Try your jokes out other places. 
there's you know there's shows in Tuscaloosa. Go up to Chattanooga when you can. Mm-hmm. Sign up for the Laughing Skull open mic. Meet people. Go to every epic comedy hour. Just go there. Try to help Scott. Ask Scott to take you on the road. He took you right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he Scott's the best comic in town. Oh he's, yeah, yeah. He's he was a do- monster. He's he, been doing he, it. A- he murdered in Memphis. Yeah, I mean they were holding their size. That's what I'm saying. Shit. He's a monster, and we're very lucky to have him here. He's. In, integral to the scene he's yeah he's the reason that i met like nashville comics atlanta comics and was able to get booked in those places he took me on the road with him mm-hmm. um absorb every bit of information that guy has you know what i'm saying uh just do it as much as possible be nice be likable on stage and off stage just be nice um be professional uh, don't annoy the people that book you. Mm-hmm. Say, say, don't ask a bunch of questions. Just thank them for booking you. That's big. That's huge. People don't realize that's huge. Yeah, right there. just thank them. Just say right. thank you so much for the spot. You know, um, do your time. Don't run the light. Uh, I, I need to do this. Write more. Like just write all the fucking time. Uh, but also, don't be scared to repeat jokes. Get them good. Work them out. Like. Do like a rotation thing. So like you have a five minute set. Mm-hmm. If you have two things that worked, keep those. Put in two new things. Do those two old ones and the two new ones. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then when you get those two old ones, like good. I've, I, you know, when I was here, I definitely did the same shit over and over and over again. So, but I feel like those jokes are really strong now, mm-hmm. and no one cares. You know, yeah. Um, don't feel content is good but don't feel obligated to post it like i said this is a marathon not a sprint if you got famous right now jj what the fuck would you do with it absolutely nothing <laughs> you don't have an hour i'd have like an antonio brown breakdown you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know what i'm saying you don't have so your product is your stand-up and i and not, and not just you i'm saying in general your pro as comedians our product is our stand-up and where we want to sell our product, but your product, when you're new, that's mm-hmm. just it. Like my product isn't as good as it's going to be in six years. You know, my product is going to be really good when I'm a 12 year comic. I think like I, I'm on the yeah. track. I think when I'm been in it for 12 years, I think I'm going to be like very good at this. And, uh, yeah, until then, just don't feel obligated to try and get famous. If you got famous right now and you don't have an hour, like the point of having followers is to turn those into ticket sales. Mm-hmm. You if you sell tickets to a piece of shit product, a piece of shit show, they're not going to come see you again. You know, so you want your product what? to be good and then hope, like, just po- post your content, do whatever you want, but, like, you eventually you want to pop when you're ready. If you pop too soon, you'll be famous on TikTok, you'll go on tour for a year, and then the next year, like, your agent is just going to want to get a bunch of money from you. They're going to overprice the tickets, you'll go on tour for a year, and nobody's going to come see you next year. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? These- I mean, and that there's exceptions, and there's comics in Austin that have been doing it for a shorter time than me. Like, I think that Cam Patterson is like two years in. Mm-hmm. Heath is like a year or two in. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not linear. Like, people are going to pass you. You know, and that's yeah, a, but you, you can still tell when you I, I watched them, but you you can still tell they're they're uh, new and and, oh, yeah. and and comedy like they're dynamic. Uh, like when you see Cam, he's going to have you laughing because Cam is funny. Yeah. But like, uh, huh? Yeah, he's killer. He's Just one of the monster. best, and he's also to the thing about being nice. That motherfucker is so nice. If he walked in here right now, he would dab every single one of us up. If there were forty of us in here, he would walk around the room. He'd be tired as fuck, and he would dab up every single person in here. Comic whatever like he's the nicest motherfucker and uh he's great and he's he's so nice to like you know he's he's a buddy he's like he, like, he like, hasn't changed a bit. I love Cam because being from the hood, you know, there, there's so many funny motherfuckers there, but they can't put it together, you know, yeah. and get it on stage. And I was so happy when I saw Cam. I'm like, he's the one that yeah. was able to put it all yep. together. And I, I love he's, Cam. I'm he, so glad he's the new, uh, yeah. you know, I love David Lucas too, but you know, it's his time to go ahead and do his thing. Right, right, right. Yeah, Cam's fucking great. I saw him like when he first moved, he had like 15,000 followers already. And now he's That like, was before he got on? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I mean, just from posting reels um, from Tampa. Oh, shit. Or, no, Orlando. Sorry. Okay. Orlando. But yeah, yeah. He, he, so he had like 10, 15,000 followers when he moved to Austin. And then now he's at like 300K or something. <laughs> deservedly yeah, so. Yeah, deservedly so. He's great. He's great. Well, that was fucking crazy. Yeah. Got to see my... Yeah, that's my ex-girlfriend, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, nice pose. <laughs> yeah, that was our senior prank. We all dressed like children and and rode like tricycles and shit 
to school, I had a uh, a little three wheeled scooter. <laughs> it had a bike sickle tire on the front, <laughs> and then like oh shit, yeah, and then the back was like scooter tires. It was weird. Oh, well, I got one of those now. <laughs> but I promise y'all don't ride it. It's just like stuck in the back. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened to that yeah. thing. <laughs> I know what happened to that relationship. <laughs> <laughs> But. All right, Brent, that's the end of the podcast. What we're going to do right now, you just, uh, first of all, thank you for coming on. Yeah, thank, thank you for so having us. Thank, thank you guys so much. We for really appreciate me. this, man. Thank you. Uh, and this camera right here, you're going to tell them anything. This will be out on Monday, so tell them anything you got coming up, where to find you, all your uh, socials and everything, your podcast. Okay, uh, watch my podcast, please. It's Spooky Fun Time. It's on all the places where podcasts live. Uh, the full video is on Spotify and YouTube if you want to look at me. Um, follow at Spooky Fun Time Podcast on Instagram. And uh, kind of a long handle, but it's all it would let me do. Uh, follow Brent Reed Comedy on Instagram. And I'm usually at the mothership like the first of the month for Bottom of the Barrel. Hell yeah. Hey, thanks Hell again, yeah. man. Hell we yeah. really appreciate yeah. this stuff. Hell yeah. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. You guys are great. I, I love that you're putting back into... Oh, did you already end it? No, no. It's still going. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Still going. Oh, still I was going. just going to say, I, uh, you guys, what you guys are doing for the Huntsville Comedy Scene is great. And you guys are very funny. And keep doing it. Thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. And we really appreciate it. All right. Thanks. Love you. Bye. Right. Peace.